Hello and welcome to Ishta channel. I'm Ishta and today I want to present to you the new dance medicine online course for the sacral chakra and I'm going to ask you a question. How much does heartbreak hurt? You know there is a moment in your life and no judgment here because that moment can come after many many years of unconsciously behaving from the same pattern that attracts this heartbreak and if I'm sitting here now it's because I've been on the other side of the screen there's this moment when something inside your head just clicks and it's a once in a lifetime moment where if you, like me, have been living your life from a limiting belief of codependency in other words, bending over backwards to make other people happy or putting others' needs and feelings before your own, you realize that there are things in your life like friends, family, romantic partners that are worth so, so much to you but the thing that is worth the most is yourself. So this course, this work to be able to look at those patterns that have made you so unhappy is one of the most valuable investments that you can make in your life because it might be just the tool that your soul was needing to break free of those self-imposed blocks that you might not even know that they're there but you sure as hell feel the pain that they bring you and that is exactly your soul's way of telling you that they are not working for you ask yourself this simple question Am I ready to let go of everything? Because as this famous quote goes, and I'm sorry I don't know the source, in order to be great, you have to be willing to sacrifice everything. Well, in this case, everything means that you have to be willing to sacrifice the person or the pattern that you are most attached to. It means that no matter how much certain things mean to you, you know deep down that they don't make you happy and you know deep down that the shadow of this pattern cannot stay in your subconscious because it's sucking the life out of you pain is an emotion that we human beings tend to run away from like the devil but if you look at it from a higher perspective pain is only the emotion that the compass of your heart is using to steer you in a different direction you might be trying to heal codependency or you might have just gone through a recent breakup and are struggling to find the lessons, those jewels of wisdom that will stay with you forever and will allow you to move on with your life wiser and with a lot of inner peace in your heart. Whatever stage you're going through, this course will allow you to identify those patterns that are breaking havoc in your relationships, replace them for better ones and also hone in into the kind of partnership that makes you happy. This is key here because it will not only allow you to put a healthy boundaries when the wrong partnership comes along, but it will also allow you to be ready for the right one. As Eric Thomas put it, are you willing to sacrifice who you are for who you will become? Remember that your feelings matter, you deserve and have the right to be happy and you gotta put yourself first. I understand and believe me, I do, that these shadows can sometimes have a very very strong hold on you. You might stay in unhappy relationships because of financial ties, emotional, physical or even spiritual ties. If you resonate with high level spiritual connections where you feel so bound by the things that are going on in the spiritual realm. But I sit here as a mirror that I am to you. I take stock of my life and I see that I have been able to come back from the brink a few times already. And I came back stronger and wiser every single time. So this codependency pattern is no different. And as I have the gift of transmitting energy, I am going to use it to transmit to you the power of being able to let go of what no longer serves you. I want to give you a small example of the power of human beings to come back to the light. Many years ago when I had to give up a, a career as a professional dancer due to an injury, I found myself having put all my eggs in that basket 
passionately worked my ass off to achieve my dreams and suddenly I just couldn't take any more the pain that I had been dancing through for many many years. I felt a lack of emotional support from my environment. I was in the midst of a seriously strong addiction to food and had to go back to a life that I didn't want but felt that I had no other option. That was the first time in my life that I seriously considered ending everything and I've been there more than once. I had the means to do it and even if it sounds harsh to you, that gave me peace. So I said to myself, okay, this is a big decision. I'm going to give myself six more months and if this is everything that there is to life, I'm ready to get off this train. With time, I slowly started to rebuild my life. And it took me quite a few years to process all the pain and look back at the situation with a higher perspective. The first few years I had constant thoughts about the past and all of them very, very emotionally charged. But with time, those thoughts started to be more and more detached from emotion. And today I am able to see the situation as a complete blessing in disguise. And even though I still love dancing and I dance my heart out every time I can, I do not miss a single bit the life of a professional ballerina. I want you to picture in your mind the image of a slow, big roulette. It has a strong power of inertia, but slowly it starts to slow down until it reaches the point where something goes click, that same point that I shared at the beginning of the video and the wheel starts to go in a different direction. That will be the metaphor of your thoughts and the power of your mind to change them. What in the past took me years, now with the experience I have, it takes me months or even weeks. And that is a power that I have gained by sheer hard work on myself. And that is a power that I am ready to teach you. And as I was also gifted with the power of alchemizing energy, I am going to help you find the wisdom of the higher perspective and the understanding of the lessons of these blessings in disguise. To be able to bring love into the situation, because it's not about pointing fingers at ex-partners saying that they behaved in this way or that way. It's about being grateful because what happened in your past allowed you to be very clear of what you stand for in terms of behaviors and what you don't stand for. In other words, your core values. So you get to this place of inner peace where you're able to have a lot of love for the situation and still know that you're not going to put up with certain things that you don't deserve and don't make you happy. And instead of closing your heart and building walls around it and writing off your exes as whatever, you transform the shadow of codependency into its light attribute, which is the willingness to share yourself completely with another person, not being codependent of them, of course, but also avoiding swinging to the other side of the pendulum of I'm never going to trust, love, be authentic with someone else again, because that would start a whole other cycle of harm in your life. The trick here is to be able to bring that self-awareness and balance so you can be wiser and stronger, but with your heart healed and broken, still thirsting for the joy of life. That, to me, is the greatest gift of a balanced sacral chakra. And that is where I want to guide you to as well as teaching you how to find your flow by listening to the universe and to harmonize your masculine and feminine energies, boosting your creativity and sensuality and so many juicy things in the process. Universe and my own subconscious patterns put me in some real shitty, shitty situations in my life because I had to find the way to get out of them. And in that process, I came up with a roadmap or a system that worked for me. And I am now fulfilling my highest potential by teaching you that roadmap. You see here how universe works? So if this resonates with you, go ahead and put yourself first. Choose to invest in yourself and you will never look back.